In this video, we have a problem. What is the limit as x approaching 0 of absolute value function of x divided by x? But before tackling this problem, let's consider a slightly different question. What is the limit as x approaching 0 of the absolute value function of x? We recall that the absolute value function take in real numbers and output the positive distance between the input and zero. For example, the absolute value of 2 equal to 2. The absolute value of negative 3.14 is equal to the positive 3.14. So in a sense, the absolute value function is a piecewise function. We can rewritten this function as absolute value of x is equal to x itself if x is non-negative and negative of x if x is a negative number. By doing this, we make sure that the output of the absolute value function is always non-negative. Let's recall also that the limit of a function f of x exists and equal to a number f if and only if the left hand limit and the right hand limit also exist and equal to l. Thus, to solve this question, we need to find out what is the limit as x approaching 0 from the left hand side of the function absolute value of x and also the limit as x approaching 0 from the right hand side of the absolute value of x. Let's consider the limit from the right hand side first. We see that because x is approaching 0 from the right hand side, all the value of x is positive. And because the value of x is positive, we know that the absolute value function of x is equal to x. So we can rewritten this as the limit at x approaching 0 from the right hand side of x. And it is not hard to see that this limit is equal to 0. For the limit as x approaching 0 for the left hand side of the absolute value function of x, we see that because x is approaching 0 from the left hand side, the value of x is negative. And because the value of x is negative, the absolute value function of x returns negative of x. Thus, this limit a limit of x go to 0 from the left hand side of the neg negative of x. And using limit laws, we can pull the multiple of negative 1 outside of this limit. So we will have negative limit x go to 0 from the negative side from the left hand side of the function x at this e equal to negative 0 or 0. And because the limit at x go to 0 from the left hand side of the absolute value function of x is equal to 0 and also equal to the limit as x go to 0 from the right hand side of the same function we can conclude this implies that the limit as x go to 0 of the absolute value function of x is equal to 0. Let's check our solution with the graph of the absolute value function. So here we have the graph of the absolute value function of x and we see that when x approaching 0 from the left hand side the function 
is going towards zero. And also as x approaching zero from the right hand side, the function is also sneaking up to zero. So it confirmed that the limit exists and equal to zero. And we are now ready to answer the original question. We were asked what is the limit as x approaching zero of absolute value of x over x. So using the fact that the absolute value function is equal to x when x greater or equal to zero or negative x when x less than zero we have that the limit at x go to zero from the right hand side of absolute value of x over x is equal to the limit as x approaching zero from the right hand side of positive x over x would equal to the limit at x go to zero from the right hand side of one and we know that the limit equal to one also the limit as x approaching zero from the left hand side of absolute value function of x over x is equal to the limit at x go to zero from the left hand side and we see that because x approaching zero from the left hand side the value of x is negative and the absolute value function of x will return negative x so this will be negative x divided by x and we can simplify this at limit as x go to zero from the left hand side of negative one and the limit equal to negative one so we see that the right hand limit is equal to positive one and the left hand limit is equal to negative one therefore the two one-sided limits are not equal to each other thus we conclude that the limit as x go to zero of absolute value of x divided by x does not exist Here we have the graph of the function absolute value of x divided by x and it confirms our results. We see that as x approaching zero from the left hand side, the function approaching the value of negative one, that is limit of x approaching zero from the left hand side of the function is equal to negative one and when x approaching zero from the right hand side the function approaching positive one so we have limit as x root to zero from the positive side equal to positive one and thus because the left hand limit and the right hand limit doesn't equal to each other the limit does not exist.